Hey, Brian Foley here. We're doing Article 3.03 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure today. Um, this one's going to be really short, guys. It's so funny to me. Sometimes these sections that everybody, I guess all the lawyers who were writing the Code of Criminal Procedure back in 1965 felt like we needed this. Article 3.03, officers. The general term officers includes both magistrates and peace officers. Thank you. Thank you, Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, for making that so clear. Why would they use officers to refer to either a judge or a peace officer? I'm not, I, I really don't know. A, a magistrate means a judge. Um, there are no, I've never found a citation to this. No lawyer has ever felt like this was important enough to cite anywhere. No one's ever been confused between peace officers and judges, but we sure got Article 3.03. It's helping us out every day as lawyers to help. Um, if you have any idea what you think this means, uh, if there's a good distinction here, I suppose you know there are uh, there are instances where public servants you get a, a, an assault on a public servant. That's that's a a separate crime, but we use the word public servant. There's a specific definition there. There's another crime: uh, assault on a peace officer. An interesting note here, different counties will charge this different ways. Um, in Montgomery County, a lot of times they charge an assault on a peace officer, which is a second degree felony. They'll charge that as assault public servant, which is a third degree felony. Um, and I'm not sure why that happens all the time either, but it's to the benefit of most of our clients. So, um, you know, we don't complain about, about that. And uh, I guess this is more of a complaint video for me. You know, come on, Texas legislature, what are we doing with Article 3.03 definition of officers? If you've got an answer to this, I'd love to hear it. And we'll see if we think that's uh, worthy of its own statute. But it is worthy of its own video because we're going over the whole Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. And I'm here uh, to explain it to you guys. So if you read this and you thought it was dumb, I agree. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.